Here's something fun to try. It's a symmetrical butterfly. The supplies you need for this craft are black paper cut in the shape of a butterfly, paint, and Q-tips. You can also use paint brushes if you don't have Q-tips on hand. This is a symmetrical butterfly because we are only going to paint the colored spots on one side of the butterfly and then fold the butterfly onto itself and it will create an exact match. That's a really cool lesson for maybe a preschooler. Uh, however, if you're doing this project with a toddler, it might be hard to explain the symmetry, so you may just want to paint both sides. There's no trick to painting the colors. I wanted my butterfly to kind of match a butterfly that you might find in nature, so I used complementary colors. And when you are painting the shapes, you do want to use plenty of paint so that when you fold it over on itself, there will be plenty of paint to go to the other side too. Another quick tip, especially when you're working with kids, if you have a child who really likes to take their time, you don't want the paint to dry. So you, you don't have to move lightning fast, but you do have to move with some quickness or one side will dry before you have a chance to fold the butterfly onto itself. Okay, it looks like you're ready to fold the butterfly. Fold it over onto itself. Press lightly. You can see that some paint is leaking out the side, so you do want to be mindful of what is underneath you. This is washable paint though, so I was able to get it right up. Um, the more you kind of smooth the butterfly, the more you're mixing the colors together, which creates a cool effect. Ta-da! There he is. Looks beautiful. Let's do another one. So I'm going to follow the exact same process. I'm just going to use different colors and let's see what happens. I'm adding just a little more yellow this time around, kind of creating some accent colors. We'll see what happens. All right, it's time to fold the butterfly. Fold it over onto itself. Press lightly. The more you smooth it around, the more the colors will mix. And let's open it up. Oh, wow, that's beautiful. I love it. There they are. I hope you guys try this at home. Happy spring, everybody.